Hello, this is Carl's Mustang, and today we're back on the Motorfest. Now, I didn't cover the Motorfest last week because that Elite Bundle just wasn't interesting to me in any way. But, this is interesting, the Dark Horse. I'm still waiting for Gran Turismo to get it. Forza already has it. Now I'm just waiting for Gran Turismo to get it. And now Motorfest has it, so Gran Turismo needs to get on the ball. But... Today I'm going to be reviewing this thing. It's 399 bucks and 57,000 crew credits, which I don't think most people buy it with crew credits, so yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and buy it and I'll see you guys out towards the track. Okay, here I am with the Dark Horse. Of course, ah crap, clicked on thing. Of course, I have it fully upgraded, and click the wrong damn thing again. And, of course, no pro settings as usual. Now, again, as you can see, we're going to be using Kiss Me Combi. Eventually, I do need to find another track, but I'm just going to keep on using Kiss Me Combi. But, as usual, I'm going to go quiet, and I'll tell you my thoughts after the movie. on the dark horse pretty damn good now of course it has a lot of wheel spin on acceleration which sadly all the rear wheel drives are like that on here that high speed this damn thing feels stable like i was able to take the corner i normally break on and i was able to take it full sin that's pretty impressive i mean at lower speeds you have to watch out for the wheel spin and it for it wanting to kick a little bit but at higher speeds it's very stable. It feels good. It has a shit ton of customization. I mean, you can make it look like a S650 GT500 if you want to, because they have the whole GT500 kit from the 2020 GT500. Or you could try to make it look like a GTD, because they do have a GTD body kit. Or not body kit, but at least a wing. I mean, and they have a wide body too. So. All around, not bad car. Customization-wise, they did a pretty good job on it, and the way it feels, it feels good. I mean, it's stable at high speeds. The only thing you have to watch it on is lower speeds, but high speeds, this thing is just damn stable. Altogether, not a bad car. Not the best car, though. I don't see this thing being meta or anything like that, but it's fun to drive, and... I can see it being somewhat competitive, maybe, but just not meta. 
but otherwise this car's not bad. I'll recommend I'll I recommend getting it if you're if you have every car in the game or if you're like me and you're a Mustang fan. Because if you're a Mustang fan, most likely you you're gonna be drooling over this if you don't end up buying it soon. <laughs> or they might ask you to buy it in the summit in the future too, because it could always be part of a future summit bundle. So there's always that to think about too. All around, not a bad car. That's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.